guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today um, it's hot and windy and I think it's time for a solar cook. I wanna have a taco salad and so I soak some black beans overnight and we're gonna do those in the solar cooker while I'm at work. And so um, I hope you stay along for the ride. They're gonna be delicious. Part of them we're gonna do refried beans with and part of them we're gonna go ahead and use in our taco salad. So let's get going and see how we do here. All right, guys, come on, let's do it. All right, so this is the end result, and I'm gonna share with you a little bit of what happened today. I put those out there bright and early this morning at 7.30, got my shower, did all the things I needed to do. I didn't have to be to work super early, so I got to work around the house, do a little gardening and stuff, and um, I moved the solar cooker once and then I was going to move it again before I left for work to hit the main afternoon sun. And I went to work and forgot about it. And when I got to work and said, oh, I'm making solar cooked black beans, I had this horrible sick feeling in my stomach that I was going to have wasted these beans, that they wouldn't be cooked and or I'd have to finish them on the stove. And so anyways. I got home this afternoon and lo and behold, they are done and they did not get to follow the sun at all. And so they only got turned once and um, I went ahead and after I realized they were done and I wasn't quite ready to make dinner, I went ahead and turned the cooker towards the sun just to assure that, you know, it was, when I came home it was at 170 degrees and then it got back up to 250. And so here's our end result of the black beans. And they're beautiful. And they are perfectly done. I, I, can, I know because I did taste them earlier. So I'm going to take these. Some of them, I'm going to drain these off. Some of them we're going to use in um, salad um, and or tacos. And some of them I'm making refried beans. So let me give you a taste test. Make sure you can see that, how pretty those came out. Let's get you in for a close-up. I'm just going to taste them right out of the pot. No, maybe not. Maybe I need them to look pretty. Yeah, I better make them look pretty. Okay. So I'll put some in here. And, mmm. They smell so good. And how easy is that? And it was absolutely free. Free power from the sun. It it literally cost me less than a dollar fifty for this um, whole pot of beans that will last us for quite a while. So let me grab some cheese. How about cheese if you're just gonna have a bowl of beans, right? So I'm gonna grab a chipotle jack slice of cheese. And I'll just break that right over the top. And I would say some fresh cilantro. Mm. I don't know if I needed a whole slice. And oops, that's a big spoon. So I think I'll downsize on the spoon and let the cheese kind of melt in there a little bit. Wow, does that look good? And keep my little bit of cilantro. Just tear that right down on the top. Yum. Let go. Now the cheese is melting. Ah. <laughs> okay. Better have a bite. Ooh. Let's see what you see. Are you in close enough? I don't think so. We don't want to get too close or it gets blurry. Okay, there's my bite. Mmm. Oh wow. Yum, those are amazing. So, so good and so inexpensive. 
Mm. Wow. I hope you try this. I truly hope it inspires you to step outside the box. Think about maybe getting yourself a solar oven, leave a little less footprint on our planet, and give a little bit back to our grandchildren and great-grandchildren along the way so they have something to, um, to use when they're here. Anyways, I, I truly hope it inspires you. I hope you come back. I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. God bless.